what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If you needed more evidence and did not know, after his Clown Feud campaign event, Kanye West is officially cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Dude is officially gone. Now here's the thing, fam. I see so many people, I hear so many people making excuses for him. Well, you know, he haven't been the same since his mama died. Well, you know, he needs his meds. You know, people, we need to just talk to him. You know, he's our brother, you know, instead of bashing him, why don't we embrace him and, 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 and show him love and da-da-da. Let me tell you something, fam. If I thought that Kanye West was a friend of the black community and he just made a mistake or he was just off a little bit because he is tripping on meds or whatever or something like that, I would say, okay, I would give him some latitude there. But this dude is an agent. Kanye West says whatever he has to say to get his way. He's an opportunist. And he learned from one of the best. Donald Trump, your president. The dude, if he was white, you got to ask yourself. Would black people be so patient with him? I don't think so. Would black people make so many excuses for him if he was white and he said the things that he said about the black community, the disparaging things he said, talking about Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves and slavery was a choice. And why is he always going back to slavery? He always got references to slavery. You know why? Because he knows there is a certain sector of people who want to hear that. Same thing happened when Steve Harvey was doing his show, Steve Harvey show. And his white woman said that, hey, Steve, you know, they had that section, uh, what, did, what did they call the, uh, not section, but a segment called Ask, Ask Steve. And the white woman asked Steve, hey, you know, Steve, when I go to these parties, when I go to social events, uh, you know, people start talking about things and, you know, and sometimes I don't know what they're talking about. I have no knowledge of it. I'm, of course, I'm paraphrasing. And, you know, and I don't know what to say. And Steve Harvey, out of all the things he could have said, he pulls this one out, the bag. He pulls this one out the bag. You know, you just tell him, hey, I don't know nothing about slavery. I think he said nothing or I don't know a damn thing about slavery. Something like that. Out of all the things he could have said, he told his white audience, he said in front of his white audience, I don't know a damn thing about slavery. Why did he use slavery? Because he knows slavery is a trigger word. He knows that if he can make certain people feel comfortable by making a reference to slavery, something that has, you know, something that was so detrimental to the black community, a source of constant pain when you start take, uh, considering the memories and even the remnants of it. If he can say something about slavery and make a joke out of it, then he makes that certain section or sector of people comfortable. That's why he said it. And this is why Kanye West of, often references slavery and he disparages black people while doing it. He knows what he's doing. But let me tell you something, fam. He's done it so much that it don't even matter anymore. We can't trust him. A black woman questioned him and he was dismissive of her. A white woman questioned him and he gave her a hug. He cried. He demanded that people not clap and if they do clap, he told the audience members to rat them out, point them out, or kick them out. If Kanye West was a white man, 
would all of these Negroes have so much patience for him? Would they continue to make excuses for him? I don't think so. And let's get off this mama dead thing. When my mama died, I did not start jumping through hoops, tap dancing, and Sam going. It made me stronger, not weaker. Stop making excuses for grown ass men's bad behavior. Kanye West, I know you're probably listening right now. Probably laying up in bed with a dude. Eating crackers. Crackers all in the bed. Crumbs. I want you to know this, man. I feel nothing. You may fool some of the people most of the time, but you can't fool me none of the time. If indeed you are having your little meltdowns and stuff because your mama ain't here no more, suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?